bullet is fired horizontally into a 3 kg wooden block resting on a horizontal surface. The bullet remains embedded in the block, which is observed to slide 0.25 meters along the surface before stopping. Refer to the diagram below. We have a diagram which is not new. We have seen a bullet block system before. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface is 0.2. Neglect the effects of air resistance. 4.1. Is frictional force an external force or an internal force? I don't think there's any need to explain that. Frictional force is an external force of a system. External force. Let's look at 4.2. Say the principle of conservation of linear momentum in words. The total linear momentum of an isolated system remains constant. What about 4.3 and 4.3.1? In 4.3.1, we're supposed to calculate the velocity of the block after the bullet has been embedded in it. There's a frictional force between the block. There's a frictional force between the block and the surface. So we cannot use the conservation of linear momentum. I'm not so sure what we are going to use, but I know that when I write the variables down, the approach is gonna reveal itself. So let's go ahead and jot down the information we have and see which route we can take. So I have the coefficient of frictional force. I have the normal force as I have the mass of the bullet and the block. What other information do I have? I have delta x, which is equal to 0 0.25. And I have vf, which is equal to 0. I have vi. Well, I don't have VI. VI is what I'm looking for. So with these variables, uh, we can try VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2A delta Y. But you should realize fairly quickly that even though we have VF and VI is what we're interested in, we don't have the acceleration. We have delta Y. So the only thing that we need here is the acceleration. If we have the acceleration, then we can use Vf squared is equal to Va squared plus 2A delta Y. But how can we find the acceleration? We can use F net. So we're going to say that F net is equal to Ma. There's only one force that is acting on our object, frictional force. So the frictional force is equal to Ma in this instance. The coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.2. And we're supposed to multiply that by the normal force. The normal force is the mass multiplied by 9,8. What is the mass? The bullet is embedded in the block. So we're going to have 3 plus 0 0.005 multiplied by 9,8. This is equals to the mass. Again, 3 plus 0 0.005 multiplied by the acceleration. It is pretty obvious what we need to do now. We are dividing both sides by 3 plus 0 0.005. They cancel out on the right hand side. And now we are dividing by 3 plus 0 0.005 on the left hand side. Our acceleration is equal to 1.96 meters per second squared. But we need to make sense of our situation. The bullet block system is moving to the east. And frictional force, it is always opposing. This is 1.96 meters per second squared to the west. We need to put that into account. Now that we have the acceleration, we can find VI. So we're going to say VF squared. So we have 0 squared being equal to VI squared plus 2A. Our acceleration is minus 1.9, 1.96 multiplied by delta y, which is 0 0.25. If we take direction to the east as positive. If we solve this, we're going to get vi squared being equal to 2 multiplied by 1.96 multiplied by 0 0.25. Now it is just a matter of taking square roots on both sides. If we do that, we're going to get 
zero point nine nine meters per second q there is as our initial velocity of the bullet block system let's move to 4.3.2 4.3.2 initial velocity of the bullet before striking the block before striking there is no frictional force because we are told that we can neglect the effects of air resistance so we can say that the sum of the momentum before will be equal to the sum of the momentum after for the bullet we have a mass of 0 0.005 and an initial velocity we are interested in uh, for the block we have a mass of three kgs and an initial velocity of zero because it was at rest as the bullet get embedded on the block we have a mass of 3 plus 0 0.005 and a velocity of 0 0.99 which we just calculated in 4.3.1 so this is 0 0.99 so 0 0.005 vi is equals to 3.005 multiply by 0 0.99 we divide in both sides by 0 0.005 so vi let's divide here by 0 0.005 will be equals to 594.96 meters per second to the east something cool to think about this is 594 meters per second it is greater than the speed of sound meaning that if you were to get shot by this bullet you would hear the sound after getting shot 